play. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. Huh, <sighs> that was a load of garbage. Stinky. Let's get something better in here. Huh? Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! Yes! Let's start this off first by saying I love the classic games. I, however, absolutely despise what Aspire has done with the classic collection. I wanted to make today's video about something good for Star Wars, the Battlefront 3 Legacy mod. Ever since I learned about this mod, I have wanted to play it, but I've been an idiot. I didn't know how to install the mod, or I knew how to install it, but I didn't know how to play it. Well, that changes today. I figured out how to get it running, and I am going to bring you into my first ever experience with Battlefront 3 Legacy Mod for Battlefront 2. And at the end of the video, I have a little treat for you guys to teach you guys how to install the mod for yourself. And we're here. I want to be a clone pilot because there's something I want to show you all. If you don't know anything about what could have been about Battlefront 3, and let me just show you. First off, we get fully updated cockpits. You don't get cockpits in the original Battlefront 2. We're going to zoom. All right, it just looks like a just looks like a normal space map that has some mods to it, right? Well, let me dive down because uh there's a fully modeled planet underneath us. Obviously, you can't land anywhere because this is... Oh, well. <laughs> We're going to get in the V-Wing. Let's go su uh, support our ground units down below. I'm going to make sure I take out some of the AATs. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's an AAT down. Let's fly out. Oh, uh, what could have been... What could have been? This is... Oh, this is so cool. And then you can just... You can just fly back up here. God, it's so cool. Why, Lucasfilm, did you have to cancel this? I understand that their studio was iffy and didn't get all their stuff in on time, but you should have afforded them more time. I want to see if you can do something. I played... It's not exactly my first time. Uh, I was having issues with the Discord overlay, so a lot of my footage just got corrupted. But you can fly through here, which is insane. I mean, you have to be good, but you can fly through there. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Hello, tank. Please don't focus me. Boom. <laughs> Let me just... Ah! Just toss the grenade underhand. Mm. Oh, I'm stroking my shit. <laughs> what? Oh, also, look at this. You get the fucking turret from Battlefront 2. I don't know if Battlefront 2 uh, took the model or not. I, I don't know enough about it. I mean, they even put reflections on the scope in a 2005 game. All right. See, you get the turret. You get the officer turret. What? All right. Let's start a phase montage, boys. I need to start my trials for phase. <laughs> Phase. Phase montage, baby. This is just so much more enjoyable than anything Aspire just made. So if you have a PC, it can be a potato PC and still run this. I don't know how potato, but it could be a potato PC and still run this. It does not take much to run Battlefront 2. And I think right now you can buy this game for $5. And the mods are free. Every mod you find is normally free for this game. I would highly recommend it but i mean look at this it's so cool how how did they make this mod it's insane get out of here get out of here oh oh you're resistant you're resistant can oh mace would you can use the turret <laughs> that's funny jedi using an e-web turret what's <laughs> not to love why are we still here just to suffer oh I'm beautiful. I'm a beautiful man. This is so much more enjoyable than the classic collection. God, look at this map design, too. God, back when map designs didn't care about being ultra-competitive three-lane bullshit, it's just 
can you position yourself better with the high ground? Can you take the high ground? It's so cool. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! From what I saw, you can create your own server and get this mod running with multiplayer. So I would love to set that up with my very small community. Get like a Battlefront 3 Friday thing going on or something. That would be so cool. If that interests you, uh, join the Discord down below. I'd love to set something up like that, even if it is just like five people. This is way more enjoyable than the classic collection, without a shred of doubt. Okay, let's check out a different map. We're the Empire. We're the Empire on the Death Star 2. And I'm trying to make phase montages. I'm not trying to do that, but if I get enough, uh, it's gonna become a phase montage. <laughs> God damn, this map is so cool, but I don't know where I am. I'm good enough, FaZe. You see that? My official application to join FaZe. The Royal Guard is really fun because you can just poke people with a stick. Everybody watch this. Boom. Get poked. Get poked. <laughs> Pretty much you're a mini hero as the Royal Guard. It's so cool. It's just unfair. It's just unfair. His grenades do not seem to work, sadly. Well, that's okay. You get some really, really powerful weaponry as the Royal Guard. Some really powerful weaponry. All right, let's restart the mission. I want to see what uh what the Wookie is like, because the Wookie in normal Battlefront Two is is fun. Okay, so it's still a charge shot. Oh damn! Okay, the Wookie Warrior is insane. Oh my god! Holy crap! The Wookie Warriors is insane. Fuck you. Oh my god, the Wookiee Warrior's actually cracked. I love how it just looks like you're stroking your shit when you throw a grenade. That's wild. All right, flash grenade. Let's see Let's see how bright that is. Oh. Oh, that is near impossible to see anything. Damn, I fuck with the Wookiee Warrior. He's really good. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys this mod and let you guys know that I want to do multiplayer stuff. Because if we go over to multiplayer... You can create a session and then you get to choose the map and we could set up like a community thing, which would be so much fun. Just get people to actually play this game again. We've got a Naboo. Can we join Naboo? <gasps> We're joining Naboo. Okay. We are in a multiplayer uh, session now. Grenade spam, boys. Grenade spam. Oh yeah. There we go. The strafe in this game is so insane. Is insane. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. Got the sniper. Let's go. Oh, I'm finally dead. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. But this game looks amazing with the, uh, with the mod installed. Like, it looks really good. Also, another fun fact, you can reload while rolling. <laughs> if you didn't know that about the original games, you can do that. Like, I don't understand it, but the net code is better on the original game's servers. Oh, he got absolutely fucked up. It, it, the controls are just more responsive and the hit detection is just better. This is a more enjoyable experience than the classic collection, even though there's less people playing. <laughs> I'm dying just as many times. Actually, I'm getting to die. <laughs> I would argue that's better because I'm getting to die. I'm allowed to die. Time to do my thing of not doing anything. Oh, I got that motherfucker. Let's go. Like, look at that. The hit detection is just better. People are able to actually kill each other. 
instead of standing next to each other shooting for five minutes. Well, actually, you didn't get to do five minutes of shooting. Never mind. Ooh, roll out of the way. Roll. Oh, survive. Damn. But, like, I feel like it's actually just my lack of skill that's affecting my play. Not net code. How is the net code better? <sighs> I, I hate what is happening to Star Wars and how fans have to make the games better. It's so stupid. <laughs> I think... Hey! Uh, ten kills. I joined late. I'll take it. I will take it. Alright, let's quit. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. It is definitely worth it. Get this game and download the mods. Speaking of download the mods, I will go ahead and teach you guys that right now. It's a very, very simple process. What you're going to do as the first step is click the links in my description. Um, they'll take you to each individual mod that I have downloaded. You have to install the one that I'm going to be putting at the top first. Uh, and then the order doesn't matter. But you do have to install the top one first or everything breaks. Okay. Hello. So to install these mods... Um, it's very, very simple. So this is the first one you need to install. It's the V1.3 patch. You just click download. I'm not going to click it right now. And that's solely because I already have it downloaded and I don't want to mess with anything. So you click download, um, you'll get a pop-up. If it doesn't work right away and doesn't instantly download to your top uh, downloads, download bar, then you just click the little link it shows and you do that for all three of these, the Battlefront 3 Legacy mod and then the remaster mod as well. I'll put the links in this in uh, in the description, don't worry. Um, and then they'll show up here. As you can see, they, they show up here. V1.3 patch shows up there. And then uh, you, you have your files and whatnot. For the um, installer, you just click on that and then you'll get a part one, part two, part three. You click on all of them. Um, the part three has been having issues running for me. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I wasn't able to get it installed, but this is the exact same process. If it does start, yeah, this is the exact same process you use for every single one of these. And all of them come with uh, instructions and readmes that uh, take you step by step. But you have to make sure you get the V1.3 installed first. If you don't, it can mess up everything. That is a must, a needed yes download. Okay, so it looks like it worked. So we're going to hit run anyways. All right, so then it says, welcome to Battlefront 2 Remaster Installer Part, and then it'll be one, two, or three, or whichever one you're using. And then you just click yes. Uh, you can read all of that if you want. Um, and then this is the most important step. You hit browse, and then you go to wherever your Steam file for Battlefront 2 is. So for me, it's this PC, storage D drive, and then I go Steam library, common, and then I scroll down. You want to make sure if you have the uh, original one, uh, the 2004 Battlefront game, to not click on that one. You've got to make sure it's Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic. And then you click Game Data, and then you press OK. And that's pretty much it. It's very straightforward. And then you just click Next. <laughs> It'll unpack files and blah, 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 blah. I was playing the mods without part three installed too. So take that into consideration. You don't have to have every single one of them installed for the game to look amazing. Uh, this one is for space. It's their newest update to the remaster mod, but it, it's a really well put together mod. The download has finished. Okay, so each one of them have a really cheeky little quote from Star Wars. It's awesome. I love it. But uh, now we're just going to go check my file. Uh, we're going to go boom. Okay, so we're there. We're in game data. Now, it should have automatically brought you right into the add-on. And yeah, there's all of my mods. I'll put all of the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. And if you want to do that thing that I was talking about in the video where we all play some Battlefront 3 Legacy or just regular Battlefront 2, and stick it to the man. <laughs> Not stick it to the man, but it's just a more enjoyable experience. If you want to play this game online, join the Discord. We'll be, I'll be trying to set up some uh, servers. I mean, we have to get enough people first. <laughs>
Thank you. I also forgot to add, if you are using Discord to turn off your Discord overlay, or you got a bunch of really buggy shit happen, uh, you can get a complete black screen just loading up the game. I would highly recommend just closing out of Discord when you use the game or turning off the Discord overlay. Because obviously if we do the community thing, then you need to have Discord up because you use Discord. But if you turn off Discord overlay, it solves the problem. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.